Formula 1 ex-champion Michael Schumacher is out of coma. He has left the French hospital where he was being treated since the accident and he is now entering a long phase, of, uh, what appears to be a long phase of rehabilitation. I think this is the best uh, news we've heard, uh, at least in the world of sports. The best story, the best information that we, we could have got. He's been in coma for what, for more than six months. So this kind of a recovery is A, it's miraculous. We must of course give credit to modern medicine and the kind of systems that they put in place to, uh, you know, even to, to look after him after that serious injury. So you must acknowledge the role that the doctors and medicine has played and also a very strong willpower. Talent is one thing but it uh, shows underneath a, a steely determination and I'm sure somewhere in that uh, a, a brain that, that really has uh, manifested itself in uh, as Aya said, what seems to be a miraculous recovery. Of course, there's still a long way to go. Uh, the rehab is a long, long process. But, uh, you know, from uh, from despair of him never kind of getting out of a coma and to kind of um, moving out of hospital, I think uh, really it is uh, a factor of a lot of things. It's a factor of uh, luck, of course. And I think, uh, you know, to master as a person, uh, I'm sure he has been a fighter all along. Uh, he's the kind of guy who's, who's deep losing. In fact, uh, he's even been controversial because of that. Unsportsman, like a lot of people have said, uh, in his quest to win. But it's something he doesn't like to be beaten. And I think uh, even in his uh, current condition, I'm sure uh, he is fighting even harder than he did for any Grand Prix.